Hey guys, in the fast lane here. We have a 2015 Hyundai Veloster. It's the base model, 1.6 liter, and it's getting a P2191 check engine light. Now, went ahead and replaced the O2 sensor on bank one, and this sensor right here, when I pulled it, had what's called silicone poisoning. It was really white. We're getting some lean conditions. I went ahead and pulled the spark plugs, coil pack spark plugs. This is what we have right now. This is cylinder number one. It's a little tan on the ground strap. The cathode or cathode is kind of tannish. And then right here on the bottom ring, we get a little bit of soot and that's all right. Running a little lean. Then we come to cylinder number two, completely different story. If you look at this, we have some detonation. It's kind of chunky looking on the ground strap and the cathode and then Right here on the bottom ring, you can see all that chalked up. Kind of looks like silicone, but it's basically running super lean. So cylinder number two, and then we got cylinder number three. That looks okay. Little lean still. Cylinder four, that looks okay. Still a little lean. But since we have that going on with cylinder number two, I'm going to go with we got a bad, dirty fuel injector. And on the Velosters, the fuel injectors are right underneath here. So you got to pull the intake manifold. Now, another thing that could happen if you didn't read your plugs and or all your plugs are reading good, I would look at the map sensor right there. And then the second thing could be the high pressure fuel pump. That's this guy right here. And then the third thing would be the fuel pump. Now, the fuel pump is in the back seat. It's in underneath the back seat you pull the seat up and it has the fuel filter in it even the fuel pressure regulator so it's all built into one that would be the last case scenario so if you're having this problem you're getting a p2191 those are some of the things i personally would check out and one more thing that i missed it's the cheapest one is the pcv valve which is right here you just unclip this and it's right in here this one is a screw in type screws right into the valve cover and that would that could be the first thing you could check. Usually you can just clean those out with brake cleaner. They're just a metal piece with a spring and like a ball valve. Not too big of a deal. You can also get a combined code of P2191 and P0420 as well. That's a whole lean condition. You're, sometimes you're usually going to get the second code with the P2191 as well. Another thing it could be is it could be the intake manifold gasket on cylinder number two. So when you pull it off, have a look at that gasket. Make sure there's no rips, tears, pieces that fell off. That could make cylinder number two lean. If the spark plug checks out, fuel injector checks out, then that could be another reason why it's running lean. Another thing to check is check for vacuum leaks. Right here we have cylinder two and cylinder three and right in the middle we have this vacuum line. If this vacuum line's leaking, it will introduce air into cylinder two or cylinder three. We have a problem of extra lean condition, some detonation on number two here. And if that air gets in there, it will change the fuel mixture, the air fuel ratio, and it'll cause it to be lean. So that's another thing you definitely want to check. Check for vacuum leaks. Intake manifold gasket also can go bad and that'll cause air to get in there and change the air fuel ratio as well. The PCV valve right here, Pull this out. Looks a little dirty in there. It's got a little bit of gunk, but the test is, see, that's kind of getting stuck. So this definitely needs to be replaced or cleaned. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some brake cleaner. Shove the hose in there and clean it out. But you can hear how it's jiggling right now, listen. And we should be able to get this to make a lot more noise than that. Take some brake cleaner. Spray it in there. This is what it sounds like after cleaning it. You can hear how it's a lot looser and that's what you want. Just put it back in there. Tighten it down. See if that fixes anything. If not, we have a lot of other things to look at.